Hi everyone, welcome back to our new session of the software testing. In this session, I will explain you about software test at estimation. So whenever we are working with the software testing project and we are giving a final report to the top management team, they will definitely going to be asked about any specific. So once it is developed, that application is developed up, all the estimation is done from each and every same estimation is done from the QA and development in then business analyst team and finally the UAT team. So once the complete process is completed, means whole process is completed, it says that estimation is done from each and every team and the product is going live as per the tentative dates. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with software test estimation. So first of all, what is software test estimation? Estimation is the process of finding an estimate or approximate value in terms of time resource and cost and finally human resource as well to define the input and completeness of any product that product might be in the uncertain or unstable whenever these type of contain is not considered so test estimation is the management activity which approximate how long a task would take to complete estimating effort for the test is one of the major and important tasks in test management so prior experience or previous experience plays a very major role in estimating software testing efforts so just like if i am a beginner and i am trying to estimate on software testing bucket so it is mm, create a bit difficulty for me to each and every process if I miss something definitely that going to impact on my timelines and definitely that going to impact on my costing budget as to as well so this needs to be covered on each and every component on and on the corner sides as well Working on valid project helps to prepare an accurate estimation of the testing cycle. So, there are so many things in test that are counted for the estimation of test cases such as resources which is the pillar of your testing activities. They will create the test cases, they will execute the test cases if they will found anything or glitches in between requirement and the delivered product. They will raise the defect for that. So, it's always required to have an efficient team which will play the key role for doing these activities. Then, second is time. So, first, let's consider each and every aspect in detail. So, resources. Without proper resource, it will be difficult to complete any project. It is essential for the testing team to have proper resources to ensure that product project is done as per the requirement. So just like if I want to do stress testing and no one is from my team is know about stress testing, they are not aware of this stress testing, then how they will perform might be they will learn from the some sites or from some youtube channels and they will start running the stress testing but if you don't have any experience on the stress testing you will definitely miss something from first project once you will familiar with this concept definitely you will rock or you will do that on accurate manner but at once it will be a bit difficult for us so it's always required to have a resources which covers each and every component of testing and each and every functionality and non-functionality of the 
testing. It can be people, funding facility, equipment, etc. These resources make sure that the project is completed within the time. Second component is time. It is one of the most vital necessities of any project. It is considered at the majority or on the priority for the completion of an overall project with delivery as per the deadline. So just like if you have decided to deliver any project within a one week of time and you are extending the time, that will impact on each and every team. That will impact on delivery time as well or go life plan for that project. So whatever time we are estimating that should be covered in this time duration. So it's always recommended to quote the time two to three days advanced means you are thinking to complete that project of testing within five days. But definitely you can quote seven days that will cover your if you losing something third component is cost another vital things to keep in mind is the budget of any project it will work on the total amount that will be invested in a project for the completion of any product and fourth component human skills the skills matter a lot as well with experience and knowledge. This is considered for all the members of the team that can affect the estimation as well. So this is how we can cover these things. But apart from that, there are some other points as well, just like BB environment as well. If you are having some downtime. That is also should be considered in this type of estimation. Next, prerequisites of the test estimation process. So there are various prerequisites are available. I am covering some of them in detail. So first is detail gathered or detail gathered from working with the past experience. So just like you have you are working in banking and finance domain and your previous experience is also from the same domain. So that will definitely going to be help to create the test cases on each and every component. It means you are going to cover every aspect because you know that in and out of any or that project. If you are new to this project, definitely you will try to cover each and everything but might be you will miss it's some maximum chances of that because you are not aware of the component of project it is always a good practice spend some time recalling past projects which pose challenges similar to the current and in your at your hand second is project documents or artifacts so the available do documents will help you to creating a test cases or test management repository tool handy in these type of scenario they are stored the requirement clarification document these documents can be referred by the testing team to clearly define the scope of any project third is assumption about the type of work past working experience helps in making assumptions about the project this is where Hiring experienced professionals matter most. The testing managers can pick up the brains of these people for delivering the desired result. Fourth, estimation of potential risk and threats. You can also say that it's calculation of potential risks and threats. Testing team also needs to visualize the potential risk and threats and pitfalls which lie may lie for the team in the future. Fifth is determining whether documents have been baselined. The testing team also needs to be determined if the requirement have been baselined or not. If any requirement is released from the product owner, that should be verified from the end user. Otherwise, what happened in between development or testing phase, if 
end user will receive that a uh, product in between or intermediate bills of that they will defer to raise a point so we have not given this type of requirement or we have expected something else so if the documents are not baseline then it is important to determine the frequency of the changes sixth all responsibilities and dependencies should be clear so the organization should clearly define the roles and responsibility for all the persons who would be performing the estimation process seventh is documentation and tracking of the estimation records so all the relevant information to the estimation process should be documented eighth is activities which are required to be performed during the test estimation process organize the activity that would perform estimation decompose the project into project phases and subsequent constituent activities compute the estimation based upon the previous project and professional experience prioritize the possible threats and come up with the approaches to mitigate those risks review and document the relevant part of the work submit the work to the relevant stakeholders so let's see how we can see estimation technique i'm not going to cover each and every component of estimation techniques definitely i will create a further sessions on each and every techniques in detail but i will give you some overview about these estimation techniques so there are seven important estimation techniques are available in some of the books you can refer many more but these are used in the global organizations so first work breakdown structure basically it is breaking down the test project into smaller pieces and assigning these tasks to each individual so that they will do their task accordingly so just like if we are working in any functionality that functionality will cover three parts or that functionality will have three parts so assigning each functionality or each part to each individual so that they will quickly complete that activity second is three point software testing estimation techniques estimation method is based on statistical data and whenever we are covering these three point software testing estimation techniques it's based on actual data or you can say that accurate data which or, or the required data which is coming continuously on production third wideband delphi techniques we will discuss in further session about this in detail function point or testing point analysis measure the size and give weightage of each function point to cover each and everything in detail fifth is use case point method so use case point method will cover each use cases and scenario to complete quickly percentage distribution so if you want to distribute each and every person or key holder as some percentage definitely that will going to be help only that part of testing will be done by each individuals ad hoc method will pick up each and every aspects on randomly so this is called as ad hoc method so what are best practices for the test estimation so buffer time first estimation or best practices buffer time which i have already said so if we are working on any testing project and we are expecting to complete for 5 days definitely you can quote on 7 days so 2 days is the buffer time if you are having any server down issue or any environment issue or if you have raised any defect or if your team member is not available on specific day that all will cover in that buffer time so there is a no doubt that a project might consist of some unpredictable things 
it can be more time taken by the testing team members quitting jobs and so on hence it's always recommended to us add a some extra time in case of any mishaps it gives time for the team to overcome sir some hurdles and ensure that the project is delivered on time second is past experience past experience in which the team worked on on previous project these plays a wider role in the completion of project where the time is estimated as per the past experience there is a huge possibility that part project or part of it is similar to the latest one hence it becomes easy to avoid any of the difficulties and that person will handle their task effectively third is accounting resource estimation counting each and every resources on their capability and once capability we can finalize definitely can look look on that that resources for this type of project or not if we are having seven resources in our team and two of them is worked on the same project it's always recommended to use that two person in this project and in addition to that you can add any other person so that that two master person will explain to the new beginners who will help them to complete the task as soon as possible reestimation so once you will estimate each and everything calculate each and every corner cases and reestimate the process defect cycle so defect cycle once will open any defect that will definitely going to through a cycle so once it is declared it's a defect that defect will be fixed from the developing team that will go into unit testing and some other phases and finally it will be delivered to the qa team or uat team so these are called as defect cycle once they will verify it and close that so that cycle will be closed the scope of the project is also important to adhere that or to clear get a clear idea about the scope of the project so these are all our best practices for the test estimation let's recap this we have started with software test estimation first we have discussed about four component that is resource time cost and human resources then we had a look on different estimation techniques third we had a look on best practices of the estimation and we have already also discussed about prerequisites of software test estimation hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this video consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching